Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be discussing some more para summary questions that are generally asked for CAT and other management entrance examinations. <coughs> we have discussed many such questions in the previous exercises. So we'll continue the tempo and we'll, we'll be discussing some more advanced level questions. So the basic level questions will not be discuss, uh, discussed in the channel now. We'll be discussing only advanced level questions so that you your uh, skill in spotting the correct summary in uh, advanced level questions gradually improve by doing a lot of exercises in this manner so the technique remains the same whatever we have discussed in the previous exercises the same technique we'll be using only thing you will be refining the techniques and we'll try to uh, uh, cut down the time that we uh, take in arriving at the answers so this, this is the process okay go to the first one there is a passage here read the passage understand it then spot the correct summary All right, so it is talking about uh, two uh, philosophical ideas. The first one is by Aristotle. And what he's saying, he says that all of existence, including human beings, uh, can be analyzed and classified according to increase our understanding of the world. So uh, while Aristotle uh, was saying that uh, all things that exist in the world can be analyzed and classified, including human beings, and that will increase the understanding of the world. And who is doing the analy analysis and classification? we could classify so all the uh, beings or the, all the things that exist in the world uh, could be classified and analyzed by human beings and that includes human beings also so that, that will increase our understanding of the world this is the uh, idea or the philosophy of aristotle uh, whereas whereas is very important here so this idea is aristotle's idea whereas in being and time so it is now we talk about another idea in being and time 19 return in 1927 heidegger argued that so means uh, while aristotle's argument was that human beings and all other things that exist in the world could be analyzed and classified by human beings that will increase our understanding and he, uh, in this particular book being and time written by heidegger what is his argument before we start classifying being, we should first ask the question. So he also says that we can analyze and uh, understand uh, all the things. But before we start classifying being here, the B is written in capital. So note that the B here is written in capital means whenever anything is written in capital, it means that is indicating a proper noun, a specific uh, something, uh, the specific that is called a proper noun. So we don't know what that is. Let us uh, read uh, further. We should first ask the question who or what is doing all these questioning so uh, before we start analyzing beings we should ask the question who is doing this questioning that means who is doing the analysis heidegger pointed out that who we who are asking questions about being are qualitatively different to the rest of existence so we who are asking questions about being so are qualitatively different to the rest of existence means human beings are asking questions about being and they are qualitatively different to other uh, things that exist in the world so the human beings that are asking questions about being should be qualitatively different from the other things that exist in the world and about which we are asking about so what is the meaning here 
from this we should understand that being uh, in, with capital b refers to human being so why how can we understand that because uh, the person who should be analyzing the being should have some qualitative difference to uh, the other things that exist in the world so obviously uh, it is human being who is analyzing the human being he should have a qualitative difference to other normal things that exist in the world he and uh, such human beings who are going to analyze and understand human beings they are uh, given the word what is that word decian so he who invented a special word for this being that asks looks cares etc so this particular human being so this again reinforces our idea that the being in capital b refers to human being that is why he says he invented a special word for this being that asks looks and cares so he invented a special word for that particular human being who is trying to analyze and understand the human beings and that human uh, being is called decian which loosely translated as being being there so what is the meaning of the word decian being there and he coined the term decian because he believed that we had become immune to words such as person human human being etc so he is using this specific word decian to denote a human being who has the ability to analyze and understand human beings because the word person human human being etc is not able to uh, signify or give the importance why because losing our sense of wonder about our own consciences because these words uh, do not indicate that we have a awareness or we have that understanding about our consciousness whereas decian indicates that this particular human being has the awareness or the understanding about our, the power of our intelligence or intellect that is called consciousness so in simple words it means that uh, dacian is a, a human being who has the uh, understanding about our own consciousness as a result of which he should be the person who is going to analyze human beings this is the meaning so aristotle only said that human beings has the have the ability to analyze and understand all things on earth including human beings uh, heidegger uh, advance or took, took it forward by giving some qualities for that particular human being who is going to analyze and understand about human beings and that human being should have the uh, awareness about uh, our consciousness and such human beings are called decian so this is the simple understanding once you have that understanding your uh, options will become very easy the author tries to pen down the conflict that persisted between aristotle's and heidegger's ideology so here it says that there is a conflict between the ideologies of aristotle and heidegger is there any conflict conflict means heidegger should be stating something contrary to what aristotle is saying but both are saying the same thing only thing heidegger is saying something in addition so you cannot say that there is a conflict between Aristotle's and Heidegger's ideology, so this option is wrong. Option B, the author tries to pen down his opinion on the concept of being, favoring the ideologies forwarded by Aristotle on, on analyzing the existence of things to develop an understanding of the world. So here he says that the author is talking about the opinion on the concept, his opinion on the concept of being, uh, favoring ideologies forwarded by Aristotle means the author is favoring the ideology forwarded by Aristotle. The author is, yes, the author is talking about the ideology of Aristotle, but he is saying that this ideology has been uh, refined or improved by Heidegger. Is that stated here? It is not stated here. It is only talking about the ideology of Aristotle about the existence of things. It is not talking about the qualitative uh, characteristics that uh, the person who is analyzing human beings should have as per Heidegger. That is the main thing in this passage. It says that, yes, Aristotle is talking about the, uh, the human beings able to analyze and understand everything on earth, including ourselves. And Heidegger took it further forward by saying that uh, the human beings who are trying to understand human beings should have the uh, awareness regarding the power of their intelligence so that is the meaning or the power of the consciousness that human beings are endowed with so that is not stated here so uh, you can say that this is only a uh, half-baked summary it is not talking about the core idea or the important thing in the passage so since uh, we have already discussed core ideas and supplementary ideas in the previous videos 
you can very well see that this is not a good option as a summary then we talk about option c the author tries to pen down the development of aristotle's being as made by heidegger means development of aristotle's being means uh, aristotle's ideas regarding being his uh, further developed by heidegger with respect to awareness which forms an inane part of human beings yes awareness means consciousness so uh, that heidegger's ideas is that regarding awareness uh, the uh, human being should have that consciousness and separates aristotle's being from heidegger's dasian so that is what differentiates aristotle's human being from heidegger's dasian aristotle talked about human being as anybody who is able to analyze and understand about all things on earth whereas heidegger says that dasian is that particular a kind of human being who has that awareness or consciousness about the power of intellect that human beings have and this makes him uh, suitable to analyze and understand human beings that is what heidegger is saying so that is why this option is a very good option it is talking about the development of I mean development means advancement taking it further forward so the development of aristotle's being that is done by heidegger with respect to the awareness so what is the development it is regarding the awareness which is a inane inane means a very important inane part means an intrinsic part or an inherent part something that is already there that is inane part of human beings and separates aristotle's being heidegger's dacian so this is a good option the probable answer keep it in your mind option d the author tries to pen down the overlap between the concepts of being and dacian what is overlap similarities so here he says that if the author is uh, trying to uh, analyze the similarities between the concepts of being and dacian uh, wherein both forward the idea of inevitability of awareness as a trait in human being so it says that both uh, aristotle and heidegger is talking about the idea of inevitability of awareness means awareness that is definitely inevitable that is something that has to be there as a trait in human beings is it given no because both of them are not talking about the awareness only uh, heidegger's dacian is concerned with the awareness uh, aristotle's being is only talking about a person which is a who is a human being so that is why this option is wrong and inevitability of awareness the way we are we don't know whether this awareness is inevitable in all the human beings inevitably means something that should be there in all the human beings whereas a heidegger says that that particular human being who is going to analyze and understand human beings they should have the awareness whereas this option says that in the this awareness is a trait that is inevitably there in all human beings which again is wrong so both aspects it is wrong so that is why this is not a good answer so you have only one answer option c so this kind of advanced level questions when you have or uh, when you get in your exam go for very specific reading you may have to read for uh, one or two times to understand the correct meaning regarding the idea then you come to the options and try to uh, 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 always reduce the idea into a simple idea whenever we, even if it is given in a complex manner make it into a simple idea here aristotle has one opinion heidegger has another opinion which is a uh, which is a development of aristotle's opinion so aristotle's opinion is further developed by heidegger uh, by called giving some certain qualities to the human being who is trying to understand and analyze whatever things that exist around the uh, around in the world that is a meaning so once you understand that your answer becomes very simple so that is how you have to uh, attack these kind of questions where you uh, try to uh, understand things perfectly then reduce the idea into a very simple idea which is which can be retained in your mind very easily then go to the options go through the options very minutely uh, whenever any inconsistency is there uh, remove that option whatever remains will be your answer so this is the method go to the next one what is open defecation free 
open defecation means when people uh, go to the toilet in the open places means with the, without going to proper uh, toilets and all they answer the call of nature in open spaces that is called open defecation so india has been made open defecation free means nobody is uh, answering the call of nature or attending uh, to these uh, things in the open spaces they are always going to the toilets uh, that is called open defecation free All right. So the passage is very simple. It is talking about two contradicting uh, narratives, means contradicting opinions or contradicting projections or contradicting data. Uh, one is by Swachhwar the mission. It says that India has become completely open defecation free. free. We have achieved uh, the hundred percentage ODF goal. It is given here. Hundred percentage ODF goals. Nobody is uh, answering the call of nature in the open. Everybody is using toilets. That is the uh, data or that is the opinion by Swachh Bharat Mission whereas the National Statistical Office another government agency what they are saying they are saying that 28% uh, of the people in rural areas do not have any uh, latrines and uh, whenever they have latrines even then 3.5% of uh, those who have lax uh, uh, latrines they are not using them so uh, basically the NSO data is saying that uh, the Swachh Bharat uh, often defecation free goal has not been achieved or whatever claims made by Swachh Bharat Mission Gramin regarding 100% ODF goal is not correct. That is what the National Statistical Office data is saying. And what is the uh, uh, possible reason given by the author? The possible reason is that uh, the people, uh, there is a behavioral change that need to be there. Means even when uh, toilets are constructed in villages and any other, many other areas, there are a lot of uh, pract established practices means people who are already in the habit of uh, attending the call of nature in the open spaces they don't want to move to toilets the sanitation practices the, the behavioral changes regarding sanitation practices and beliefs so people think that it is better to go to the open and myths around in toilet usage so the in proportion to the individual household latrines so lat latrines have been constructed true but the people's attitude towards the usage of latrines in rural areas need to change so because of this behavioral changes that have not happened the uh, switch by the 100 percentage odf goal is not a reality this is the meaning of the passage so basically two uh, contradicting uh, data regarding the 100 percentage odf goal and the re possible reason for the uh, well the contradiction that is given in the passage now you have to find a summary Option A, all of India became ODF in 2019, yet some detractors say that detractor means the people who criticize anything is called a detractor. So the people who are criticizing it say that this is false and also not in a possible not possible in a country as large as India. First of all, some detractors. Here we are only talking about uh, another government agency's data. So that cannot be considered as a Okay, detractor. Detractor means somebody who is questioning that particular thing 
or criticizing that particular thing is a detractor. So some detractors is not correct. We are, we are talking about only one uh, agency which is giving another data and that data is also not criticizing this data. It is giving a different uh, viewpoint means it is it is already contradicts. It is giving enough uh, evidence to contradict it. So it is not directly criticizing it. So that is why this is wrong and uh, the, the, that data is not directly saying it is false. It is only saying that this much number of people are not having access and uh, whenever people have access this much number of people they are not using it so that's what it is giving say so it is not saying directly that it is false so that part is also wrong and this is not at all stated not possible in a country as large as india so the nso data is not saying that this is not possible in india so three reasons why this is not a good summary these are all inconsistencies or contradictions Option B, SBM and NSO have opposing narratives. Opposing narratives means yes, contradictory narratives about the achievement of the Making India ODF goal and this difference may be due to behavioral issues regarding toilet usage. Good answer because they both the Bharat Mission and National Statistical Office, their narratives are contradicting each other and this contradiction uh, is regarding the uh, Making India ODF goal. And this difference due is due to the behavioral issues. So this is because of the behavioral issues or the, the behavioral patterns or the uh, practices that people have been following regarding toilet usage. So this is a good answer, possible answer. Keep it in your mind. Option C, India has become open defecation free and there are only two, there are two nearly similar narratives going on that mention the behavioral changes that need to be inculcated. So this part is correct. India has become open defecation free as per one as with Bharat Mission. And there are two nearly similar narratives or similar opinions going on or similar opinions going around that mention the behavioral changes means the both such Bharat Mission as well as NSO is saying that uh, the behavioral changes need to be there. Is it correct? Go here, see here, this may be due to the because the SBM data does not account for behavioral changes. So SBM data is not at all talking about behavioral changes, whereas the NSO data is indicating behavioral changes. So that is why this uh, similar narratives which mention the behavioral changes means both NSO as well as uh, such virus mission should be talking about the behavioral changes that need to be inculcated. Inculcated means developed. So this is wrong because only the NSO data is indicating the behavioral changes that need to be inculcated. The Swachh Bharat Mission data is not accounting for behavioral changes. It is very clearly given in the passage. So this is why it is not a good summary. Go to option D. Making the India audio is a necessity. Is a passage saying that it is necessary that India should be made audio? Again, not given in the passage. See, when in summaries, you have to uh, go through each and every word minutely and see whether this uh, is supported by the passage. The passage is not saying anything about the necessity regarding making India ODF. It is not saying that it is very much necessary that India should be made ODF. No. And the government has made many plans to make India ODF. Again, wrong. The, we are talking only about one plan which is such virus mission. We don't know any other, any, any other plans are there or not. It is not stated in the passage. So the government making any many plans to make India ODF again wrong. These plans have been partially successful. Again, these plans wrong. Only one plan we have discussed, which is such bad admission. It is partially successful, correct? Due to the change in people's attitude. Means it says that the success is due to the, the change in people's attitude. It is again wrong because the passage is that the failure in attaining the such bad admission ODF goal is because there is no change in the people's attitude. Whereas this option is saying that the, so the success of the mission is due to the change in people's attitude. People's attitude has not changed. So how can you say that there is a change in the attitude of the people? Again, wrong. So option B is the only answer. It says that SBM and NSO have opposing narratives about the achievement of the Making India goal. And this difference be due to behavioral issues regarding the uh, difference means uh, this difference between the SBM and NSO narratives it is due to the behavioral issues that is what the passage is also saying so option b is the correct answer okay go to the third one
a cabman means driver of a cab so chekhov chekhov was a uh, russian writer anton chekhov in the early 1900s so uh, means the fag end of the 18th century uh, so he had written a lot of uh, world famous classics and he has written about this man cabman means a taxi driver so in those days horse horse drawn taxis were the taxis were not motor taxis it was these uh, taxis were driven by horses fares means uh, people who are traveling in his cab so those people are called fares what is colt a young male horse is known as a colt a male young horse a horse is known as a colt mare means a, a female horse is a mare the little mare means the little female horse so his uh, horse is a female horse so that horse munches Lessons and Brasson, Masters and Ionis Carrier tells her all about it. So the this passage is basically talking about a small uh, story written by Chekhov before he had become famous or a serious author. So in that story, there was a cabman called Iona and he was grief stricken because his son had died. So he wanted to share his grief with uh, somebody. Uh, so he wanted to tell his passengers the, who were his uh, carrying in his uh, cab or taxi he was trying to uh, share his pain on his son's death with the people but uh, they are all busy they are not nobody is bothered to hear about his story or to have some compassion and finally he comes back to the stable means the stable is the place where horses are kept so and where he try comes back to the stable and to tie his horse and uh, he addresses uh, someone who appears to listen so he thinks that the horse will listen to him and he talks to the horse and he what he says that's how it is old girl old girl means that he is talking about the horse here he went and died for no reason he who is this he his son so his son went and died for no reason now suppose you had a little cold and you were the mother of the little cold so he is asking the horse suppose you had a, a son like um, uh, i had and your son died and uh, you were the mother to that little god and all at once that same little god went and died you would be sorry wouldn't you so you will be feeling painful and sorry right like i am feeling right now so that is the question and the story ends the little mare munches listens and breathes on master science so the little horse is listening to what he is saying and then breathing on the master science and uh, i know is carried away carried away i know is overcome with the uh, grief carried away means he thinks that this gesture by the horse is actually uh, an indication that the horse is understanding him so he becomes overcome with grief that at least somebody is trying to understand him and tells her all about it so he uh, tells the horse or the entire story about how his son died and uh, what uh, he is feeling and all those things so basically it is talking about uh, the sharing of his uh, grief the need to uh, have compassion or empathy and uh, when people are not giving it uh, the person or the iona is trying to find compassion and empathy in a in his horse and is telling his horse about his son's death that is the meaning now find out the summary according to chekhov people chekhov is uh, written wrongly here it is c h e k h o v not a problem just ignore it people try to derive compassion from animals when humans are too busy and animals are able to reciprocate and empathize so here it says that according to chekhov people are trying to derive compassion from animals when humans are too busy correct so that much is correct and animals are able to reciprocate and empathize so it appears to be a good answer animals are able to reciprocate and empathize so is the animal actually reciprocating and empathizing that is a question what is uh, is the animal really able to understand what he is saying we don't know the passage says that at last he addresses someone who appears to listen so appears to listen so he thinks that the horse is listening to what he is saying or will listen to what he will say so he has a belief that the horse will listen to him but we don't know whether the horse is actually listening to him the little mare munches listens means it seems like listening and 
Iona is carried away. Carried away means he is thinking from the reaction of the horse. He thinks that the horse is having a lot of compassion and that is why he tells her all about it. So we cannot really say that the horse is animal is reciprocating and empathizing. Animal will appear to be reciprocating and empathizing. That is what the passage is saying. So this is not fully correct anyway we will keep it in our mind as a possible answer option b according to Chekhov, people long for understanding and empathy so much so that they talk takes solace from animals when humans are too self-absorbed to care so when human beings are too inter too much interested in their own things and they don't want to care about others so uh, at that time uh, they take solace solace means they take uh, some uh, peace or they take some dependence on animals so they whatever they expect uh, people to do means giving some understanding and empathy when this is not received from human beings people take solace in animals or people depend on animals so this is a good summary it is talking about the need for understanding and empathy especially during difficult times and then people taking solace in animals when human beings are not giving their understanding so possible answer again option c according to Chekhov. Iona's grief of losing his son surpassed other people's will to converse with him and share his pain. So it is talking about Iona having more grief than other people having the willingness to talk to him. Correct. Iona's grief is very uh, high because if, if grief, his grief had not been more than other people's willingness to share him, he would not have resorted to sharing his pain with an animal. So this is again correct. But the problem is this is only a supplementary idea. It is not talking about the main idea which is sharing the grief with his horse so this is why this is again not a good summary because it talks only about a supplementary idea it is not talking about the main idea which is sharing the uh, grief with the horse according to Chekhov, one can best confide in his family members completely wrong we are not at all bothered about this passage is not talking anything about family members so it, this option says that it is better to confide in your family members so this option is, uh, passage is not saying anything about the family members so you can directly ignore it so out of options a and b a b is the better answer because of this problem with a because a says that animals are able to reciprocate and empathize we don't know uh, whether the animal is actually reciprocating the animal might be appearing to listen and whether uh, whether the animal is empathizing again we don't know we uh, have only this thing animal munches listens and breathes on her master's hands that's all so is it because of empathy that is not very clear so that is why option a you can ignore uh, out of options a and b b is the better answer so other things are wrong so i hope uh, this these questions and the techniques we have adopted in finding out the summaries have been useful in uh, your preparation you please take note of the techniques that we are using uh, in the various exercises so that you can apply these in the actual questions that you will have in the exam and in your further preparation. So thank you. Uh, if you have liked the video, please uh, like, uh, share, subscribe to the channel and share the videos to the maximum number of people so that I can get maximum reach. That will motivate me to do further videos and uh, come up with more questions that will be useful for you. Thank you. Bye-bye.